Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn how to calculate the sheet resistance of a particular transistor. Later, we will also see how to calculate the sheet resistance total on resistance. We are going to calculate the total on resistance of a transistor and as well as the total on resistance of inverters like NMOS inverter and CMOS inverter. So now we have already learned in the previous video what do you mean by sheet resistance. Sheet resistance, sheet resistance is nothing but rho by T. Rs is equal to rho by T. Rs is equal to rho by T. The units of this one is ohms per square. Ohms per square. So we are going to have a particular resistance value for a particular sheet whatever we have considered when L is equal to W. This is for a feature size where L is equal to W that's why the square will come. Okay. So this sheet resistance concept now we are going to apply on a mass transistor to calculate the total on resistance of that particular transistor when it is in on state. Okay. So this is the tabular form that gives the sheet resistance of a particular layer. Suppose if it is a metal, this is the value. If it is diffusion, it is the value. Likewise, we are having different different values for different technologies. I told you already, technology is nothing but length of the channel. Technology refers to length of the channel. Three different technologies are there. 5 micrometer technology, 2 micrometer technology and 1.2 micrometer technology. So now, how to apply this particular sheet resistance concept on the mass transistor? See here in the first example, in the first example, this is the example one. In the first example, we have taken a transistor. Already you know this is nothing but transistor. This plus symbol represents a transistor. And when you are taking the polysilicon, this is the polysilicon. See the representation itself you should understand. Okay, polysilicon is having backslash. This is the polysilicon. Polysilicon refers to length of the channel. Polysilicon. Polysilicon is having a some dimension that is referring to length of the channel. And this is N plus diffusion. This one is N plus diffusion. N plus diffusion refers to width of the channel. Suppose if you are drawing a transistor like this plus, so you are simply writing it as L H to W, but which refers to L and which refers to W, you may have a confusion. Okay, that's why definitely you should understand here clearly that the polysilicon, wherever you are having polysilicon horizontally or vertically, polysilicon is for length and diffusion is for W. Keep this point in mind. Okay, when it is a square, there is no problem. If you invert these two, suppose if you are taking uh, by mistake, you have taken this as polysilicon and this as uh, uh, N plus diffusion, then here in this example, there is no problem because both are having same dimensions, 2 lambda, 2 lambda. But when you are going to see here example 2, example 2 is having one material is having one layer is having 8 lambda and another layer is having what is this 2 lambda okay then if you take l is to w in mistake definitely there will be a problem okay if you do 2 by 8 then you will get 1 by 4 if you take 8 by 2 you will get 4 so your value will be wrong okay so wherever you are having polysilicon that particular layer refers to the length of the channel see here Length is given to the polysilicon layer. See the black slash. See the compare now example 1 and example 2. Wherever you are having black slash that is indicated by the L. Nothing but polysilicon. So polysilicon refers to length measurement. And this diffusion. Whatever the diffusion is. Whether it is P type or N type. That is referring to width of the channel. Hope you understand now. Now how to calculate the on resistance of this particular transistor for example one see here for example one example one l is equal to w or not l equal to w so l is equal to 2 lambda and w is equal to 2 lambda so what is the 
formula R on is equal to Z into RS. R on is equal to Z into RS. Z is nothing but L by W, where it is L by W into RS, that is equal to 2 lambda by 2 lambda into RS. What is the RS? And which type of material it is? N plus diffusion. Okay, this uh, horizontal line refers to N plus diffusion. So, for N plus diffusion, N plus transistor channel, if it is calculated for 5 micrometer, then 10 power 4 value is 10 power 4 ohm per square. Okay, we can clearly write here. For 5 micrometer technology, for, for, for 5 micrometer technology, RS is equal to 10 power 4 ohm per square. Now substitute that value. So therefore, R on is equal to, it is 1. So you can write it as RS. So it is also equal to 10 power 4 ohms. Suppose if you are calculating this for 2 micrometer, then RS is equal to R on, what is the RS value for the 2 micrometer? It is 2 into 10 power 4, 2 into 10 power 4 ohm per square. Therefore, as R on is equal to RS, it is also equal to 10 power 4 ohm per square. Okay, because Z is equal to 1, directly we are taking the value, but if Z is equal to any other value, that needs to be multiplied with this value. Okay, this is for example 1, where you are having uniform dimensions. Suppose, for example 2, L is equal to 8 lambda and W is equal to 2 lambda, isn't it? Let's go back and look. L is equal to 8 lambda, W is equal to 2 lambda. Now, R on is equal to Z into RS. What is the Z value L by W? 4. 4 into RS. This is the normal value. Now, for 5 micrometer technology, RS is, we you know, it is for N mass transistor, N channel transistor. So, RS is 10 power 4 ohm per square. So, multiply this, R on is equal to 4 into 10 power 4, 40 kilo ohms approximately. It is 40 kilo ohms. For 2 micrometer technology, for 2 micrometer technology, RS is equal to 2 into 10 power 4 ohm per square. So, R on is equal to 4 into 2, 8 into 10 power 4, we can write it as 80 kilo ohms. So, in this way, we can calculate the on resistance of a transistor depending upon the length, width and the sheet resistance values. Okay, very, very important. Now, let us see how this calculation of on resistance concept can be applied to NMOS inverter. We know the circuit diagram of NMOS inverter where pull up transistor is nothing but a depletion mode transistor and pull down transistor is an enhancement mode transistor. Okay, whenever a transistor is designed in a particular circuitry, definitely it should come with a length to width ratio. And already we know the length to width ratio of a particular NMOS transistor should be a minimum of 4 is to 1. We know this one. We have calculated the pull up to pull down ratio for the NMOS inverter driven through the another NMOS inverter that should have a minimum pull up to pull down ratio as 4 is to 1. See here. Pull up to pull down ratio. Pull up to pull down ratio for N mass inverter. Pull up to pull down ratio for N mass inverter is 4 is to 1. 4 is to 1 means that is the minimum value. Above that is accepted, below that is not accepted. So, its minimum value is 4 is to 1. That means, above transistor should have, above transistor, let us consider Z up. Z up is having Z up or Z P U. You can write it as Z P U. Z P U is having 4 times than Z P D. Z P U should have 4 times than Z P D. So, we can simply write it as Z P U by 
ZPD is equal to 4 is to 1. That means 4 times in the pull up place than the 1 time in the pull down place. That's why for simplicity we are taking the uh, ZPU as 4 is to 1 and ZPD as 1 is to 1. Okay. We consider the ZPU as 4 is to 1 and ZPD as 1 is to 1 to satisfy the required condition like a 4 is to 1 when you uh, have a ratio between these two ZPU by ZPD. Hope you understand how we are taking the ZPU by ZPD calculation. Okay. Now apply this particular uh, sheet resistance calculation on resistance calculation on this inverter. How to calculate the on resistance generally when you are asked to calculate see this concept is very very important definitely you will get in the examination. When you are going to calculate the on resistance of this particular NMOS inverter the meaning is you are asked to calculate the on resistance from VDD to ground. Between these two terminals you are going to calculate the on resistance. Between these two terminals means you are going to calculate the on resistance of this particular transistor and as well as you are going to calculate the on resistance of this particular transistor. So on resistance of depletion mode transistor plus on resistance of enhancement mode transistor gives you the total on resistance from VDD to ground. So first calculation of on resistance calculation of on resistance for calculation of on resistance for depletion mode transistor. Let us consider depletion mode transistor. So how to calculate this R on is equal to Z into RS. Z is nothing but pull up. Here we are taking the Z for pull up. It is 4 is to 1. We are taking it as 4 times RS. 4 times RS. What is the RS value? RS is nothing but is it N channel or P channel? Is it N channel or P channel? It is N type transistor. Both are of N type. Depletion mode NMOS, enhancement mode NMOS. So, depletion mode transistor is an NMOS transistor. N channel. Go back to the value. N channel transistor. Let us calculate it. See, if you are not as good to calculate for a particular micrometer technology, then simply go with the 5 micrometer technology. Okay. If you are not asked, then go with 5 micrometer technology. If you are asked, go particularly. Okay. It is for 10 power 4. Okay. So, that is equal to 4 into 10 power 4 ohms. You can write it as 40 kilo ohms. This is the on resistance R on. R on for depletion mode transistor. R on for depletion mode transistor. Now, how to calculate the on resistance of the enhancement mode transistor? Again, we need to multiply Z into RS. So, calculation of R on for enhancement mode Calculation of R on for enhancement mode transistor. So, R on for enhancement mode is equal to Z into RS. Z is nothing but 1 in this case. RS is 10 power 4. So, that is equal to 10 kilo ohms we can write. Therefore, total on resistance total on resistance between VDD and VSS total on resistance between VDD and VSS is R on total is equal to R on calculated for a depletion mode transistor plus R on calculated for enhancement mode transistor that is equal to 40 kilo ohms plus 10 kilo ohms that is equal to 50 kilo ohms. This is what R on for the total on resistance from VDD to 
ground for the NMOS inverter in 5 micrometer technology for 4 is to 1. Hope you understand how to calculate the on and for NMOS inverter. In the next video, I will explain how to calculate the on resistance for the CMOS inverter. Thank you.